Here at this grove of pine trees, high on a mountain in northern Spain, a great miracle will occur on a Thursday evening. On August 8, 1961, Father Luis Andreo was kneeling at the pine grove when he was taken up into an ecstatic rapture. In the rapture, he saw a preview of a miracle prophesied to come. Father Luis died that night at 36 years of age. The Virgin Mary told Conchita, the main visionary of Garibaldal, that on the day after the miracle, a tomb will be opened, and Father Luis's body will be found incorrupt. In 1830, the modern apparitions of the Virgin Mary began in Paris through St. Catherine la Marais. This is Catherine's body, found incorrupt, when her tomb was opened 56 years after her death. The body of Bernadette of Lourdes was removed from the grave 30 years after her death. She was the second of Mary's modern visionaries to be found incorrupt. In the millennium year 2000, John Paul II came to Fatima to beatify Jacinta. Jacinta was the third of Mary's modern visionaries to be found intact. On Friday, the day after the miracle at Garibaldal, Father Louis' tomb will be opened. He will be the fourth of Mary's modern visionaries to be found incorrupt. The Virgin Mary has victory trophies over Lucifer. They are called incorrupt bodies. Father Luis had three brothers who were also Jesuit priests. They have all died. Last to go was Father Ramon in November 2004. In 1983, an interview was filmed with Father Ramon in which he talked about his brother Luis and miraculous happenings associated with him. Now the time approaches for the great miracle and the opening of Father Luis's tomb. Time has come to reveal what Father Ramon said about his brother, fifth visionary of Garibaldal. Here is that interview. Father Ramon, it's a great pleasure to have you here for this interview. You have been witness, I think, about 600 times, haven't you? Well, maybe not uh, so many times, of course, been there, but maybe close to that uh, mm -hmm. amount mm -hmm. of uh, yeah, so ecstasies. All right. Uh, Father Ramon, how did you and your brother, Father Luis, first learn of the alleged apparitions of Zanabala? Well, it was by chance. <clears throat> I was uh, preaching a spiritual retreat, that was my job at that time, in a town near Caravanda, let's say, and Aguilar de Campo, and some friends mm -hmm. told me about, and the whole people was very excited after going there and coming back. So I make a phone call to my brother that was giving some uh, kind of uh, lectures on theology because he was the, got the doctorate in theology in the Gregorian University. And uh, then he told me, well, I'll be there and I'll be waiting for you because I should go out to preach another retreat in uh, another city. And that's what the whole thing started, just by chance. Mm -hmm. uh, what were your first impressions, Father, of the visionaries and their claims? Well, when I went there, the first time was just out of curiosity. Mm -hmm. But something happened the first day that is written in the books and then you can check in the books because it's more fresh and uh, I was really astonished and my brother too because of a kind of transmissions of uh, thoughts mm -hmm. and something connected with the girls that when they were in the ecstasies they were able to see each other and when one was out of the ecstasies the other was not able to see the one who was out and then one of the girls went out at the moment I thought as a proof I asked if that is true why one of the girls go out and one went out of the ecstasy and then I continue with the proof for myself said now if that's true why the girls comes in the ecstasy again and she did it and the other girl said now why did you went out and then after seeing that thing i told my brother be very careful here what you are thinking because the transmission of the 
Follow is really fast. That was the first uh, astonishing thing for me. So those were your first, uh, very first impressions. Uh -huh. Did this opinion change later, and what caused you to change your attitude about Garabanda? Well, <coughs> I went out of curiosity, of course. But then, what I can tell you is that the things I saw there, they're real things. I'm not going to evaluate the things. If they belong to a natural, psychological, supernatural, real, just that there was no lie, was no comedy. That's true. Mm -hmm. The change I had was later on, after my brother's death, the day of the first message. And then I came down completely and I decided that everything was just uh, something that happened, maybe sickness of the girls, and for me the only thing I got, the death of my brother, and I thought at that moment just uh, leave the, not just the town, but Spain, and going to America. And then what happened is that when I was in such a desolation and internal pains, the girls start to tell me, especially Conchita, everything I was thinking, the place I was when I was thinking the, that and that, when I tried to put the hand in my pocket and uh, everything. And then I was again surprised, but that came later on the little bit of the message. Yeah. And now, uh, uh, by the way, uh, Father Dr. Puchernau of Barcelona, neuropsychologist, or psychiatrist, neuropsychiatrist, and Dr. Hortis, the pediatrician of Santander, they of course gave their medical judgment, medical opinion. Yeah, uh, yes. What was Father Luis's opinion of the events of his first visit to Garabandal in July, July the 29th to be precise, 1961? What was Father Luis's opinion of the events? Well, as far as I recall now, was, he told me, Ramon, I think that we should write down these things because there are really very interesting things that I never I never saw things like that before.